Hello, 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 hello. So this is how we are starting today's vlog in the studio. And this is just before I go out teaching and you guys are coming with me. And today we're going to be looking in some of the lessons with these lovely, lovely people that you've been seeing all over my Instagram page. If you've been following for like the last, I don't know, month maybe. So check out my Instagram page to see everything that you will see today. Though today will be so much cooler because we're going to be in the room properly with everybody saying hello and checking out what the lessons are like. But before that, you know, I normally like to start my days with a bit of a jam, sort of play, get myself in the headspace and everything. And um, I've just started playing with this idea, so that's why I figured I'd start filming. So the idea came from this. And then I had this idea for this. Ah, see, there we go. We've got to try and get this idea ready and right, so. this kind of bluesy feel and uh, tonality with this, if we go to the fifth there, uh, some ideas here, this is quite cool, I'm liking this, but I would like to change pedals, because right now I'm using Box of Rock by Zvex, and I think this would sound really beefy with this fella in the mix, so be right back. Okay, so we're back on with the hoof from Earthquaker Devices, one of my favorite pedals. So what I have there, which is quite interesting, is the idea of instead of using just the power chords, you know, I could actually just go. That's quite nice. Now, the thing is though, I'm quite interested in experimenting, so I'm not gonna leave it just as at this. So I wanna try it, let's say, on a different instrument. And we will make that happen with the movie magic, just like this, going three, two, one. Right, so here we have the bass six made by Squire and Fender, uh, with the lovely upgrades that I got it with, which was awesome. And now we're going to try and play the same riff on this. Now that I am liking. That is beefy freaking tone. And that is literally just using this pickup right now. So I'm going to try and bring in the bridge pickup. Is something that I'm happy with. That's really cool actually, I really enjoyed that. So now we've got another idea. So this is basically how it always ends up for me at least, is that I will develop all of these different ideas and come up with all these different things and just wait. You just gotta wait until you know you have time, you have the headspace like I said before, and until you have the lyrics as well. And just like the wonderful Michael who's been commenting on my videos, thank you so much, has suggested please do send forward lyrics. If you have any ideas for what I am doing here, get involved because this is all about community as, as much as it is about opening up this process to people. I want to bring people together through it as well because it's such a shame that this process gets, you know, left alone, essentially. You know, it's a very solitary process for the most part and that's how most people go through it. And I don't feel like people talk about it enough and really, you know, open up about what they're feeling and about what they're doing. So, you know, for me, this is a really groovy and it just just gets me kind of riff. Like, you know, it's that, mm, mm, da -da. you know, you could be angry and listening to this and it kind of gets you. You could be like getting ready for a night out and it kind of gets you going. You could be going, I don't know, for a surf session and it's big and it's pumping. You need to get yourself pumped up and this is, could be a great riff to do it. So I've now got to get ready to go and teach and you guys are coming with me. So. Let's go!
count. Ready? Three, four. I saw a pigeon in the park. I saw a pigeon. I, I think. I saw a pigeon in the park. I saw a pigeon in. Ah! Ah! I saw a pigeon in the park. I saw a pigeon in the park. It ate a cat. It ate a cat. Yeah. Right, so just finished teaching Cormac, who you just saw with that awesome song. And now I'm on my way to Arthur, and I will see you when I get there. I'm really excited for this lesson. This kid is awesome! On an island in the sun. Oh, this is not this island. Different one. Will you play something for us? Will you play us your fantastic blues shuffle? This is Arthur K. King George playing the Blue Shuffle. Go for it. Good job, dude. Now, Hi, everyone. I believe there was one thing we were going to do before we finished, wasn't there? <laughs> right, so shall we show the people our magic trick? Just finished with Arthur, that was a really great lesson. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. It's so amazing to see him playing that. I'm playing it so well, especially after half term. As we all know, half term is not a great time for practice and everything else, so pretty, pretty damn commendable. And uh, just a service, public service announcement. Weather, why are you so bad? Okay, so I've just got home, and as you can tell by my clothes, the English weather decided to pull another funny one. It's such a comedian. Just like English humor. Freaking wet. So now, it is time to teach Milo, and then uh, I'll see you straight after that. Yeah, that sucks. It's like math was like, like what the heck? Okay, so that is Milo done. I'm in my comfy ass clothes and I'm just gonna while away the night. Good night, peace, love, a joyful election, though this will already be after, so hopefully it will be joyful. We wish for that. Until the next time.